Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your microphone sound better in Open Broadcaster Studio software. So we'll launch Open Broadcaster it's actually already running so we'll just load it up here. So this is Open Broadcaster and you can see the microphone down here. Now the first goal is to make sure that your microphone doesn't hit this yellow section. Now the bar itself can and the bar itself can go into the red section as well but the black marker that's moving up and down you kind of want to keep that around 40 to 35 minus 40 to minus 35 dB around that sort of level you can see it's, it's around this mid level so there's a few different ways that you can do that but the first thing that I found on Windows when I installed this software is the audio was just terrible to be honest it was just awful um, so I was trying to sit there and figure out why is the audio so bad because I don't you know you should really be capturing some decent audio so after much investigation um, you have to go to your control panel so just type into search here control panel let's just do that one more time so in this search here I'm going to type in control panel or just control click on control panel Windows 10 I'm sure you can do something similar on the Mac if you've got a Mac problem or Linux and we'll click on hardware and sound and inside here we're going to click on sound here and when we click on sound this little window will pop up and you've got recording here and when you click on recording you've got the microphone so you might have a wired microphone like a headphone jack microphone or you might have a USB one and I've got a USB microphone now as default when you go to properties and go to levels Microsoft as default will set it to 50% and what I was finding is the audio was very low can you see how low the audio is here so you, you would end up having to do some post-production to boost the audio and you're just getting really crap scratchy sort of audio quality it just didn't sound very good at all so after much experimenting I just set the microphone to 100% and I clicked OK and then I started to test record and the audio was perfect just like you hear now. Now the other thing that I did was go to this cog here and go to filters. And there's quite a few different filter options. You can do some googling and searching and there's quite a few people that explain how these filters work. I'm just going to delete this filter here and I'll explain what it does. So if I move um, if I move this screen up a little bit, let's just minimize it over here. Okay, so you can see the audio levels here. Now if I say nothing, I'm just going to I'm just going to be silent for a few seconds. But if you watch the green bar, um, you'll see what I mean. The green bar will continue to move because the microphone is quite a high level, so it's picking up um, background noise like the computer fan or anything, you know, people on the road or whatever it might be. So here you can see, as I was silent, the, the green meter bar was still moving. So it's still picking up audio, which is not a problem really, but we want to get it to pick up just our voice and not something that's so quiet like the fan or me just moving my hand on the table. So even these little taps on the table will pick them up. So we want to reduce the sensitivity. We're going to do that by going to, uh, let's just do that one more time. So we go to this cog click on filters and then we want to add a noise suppression filter there's other filters here you can experiment with there's gains there's a compressor there's like noise gates and stuff like this um, for me the easiest way and just a quick cheap and cheerful way was to click on noise suppression click OK so you'll notice if I say nothing now the meter bar will go right down now what you need to do is find your compromise point and for me on my computer it was set at minus nine so I was getting the best audio quality from my speech and um, around minus 0.9 so when I say nothing you will still see the meter bar move a little bit but it will be very minimal so you can see that that audio level is now really working the way that I want it to so we can click close the other thing that we'll do is go to file and we'll go to settings and in settings we'll set the audio to 48 Hertz that will give us 
slightly better audio quality here as well and one other thing that you might want to do if you're going to be recording videos for tutorials like I do is go to output and set it to large file size although the files will be larger the quality will be like literally as if it was a lossless quality so but this is tremendously large we don't want tremendous we want large file size which is this one here and then just click apply and click OK when you're done so that should sort out your audio quality give it a go um, run a little test recording and see how the audio works out in the next tutorial that I do in this series um, the first one I showed you how to install the software I actually showed you how to fix these audio things here but if you haven't picked that up or if you already installed the software this tutorial is really about sorting out your audio and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how you can actually do a screen recording just like I'm doing now um, to uh, create your own YouTube videos or your own tutorials or you may use them on your website uh, however you want to demonstrate some software or you know however you want to use the software okay let's close down the software and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.